ladies, it's Manisha here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a stamped design. I'm going to be using beautiful um, chameleon peacock hollow graphic powders I've been sent by Beauty Big Bang for review. And I'm going to be using this beautiful Creative Shop stamping plate. All the other products I'm using today are going to be listed down below for you in the description box. If I do miss anything out, I do apologise. Um, there's also 10% off discount codes below for you too. So in order for this to work, you do have to rub the um, whichever powder you're using onto a clear stamper. Um, I find the clear stamp is probably a lot easier to use than a um, sticky one. I actually haven't tried a sticky one, but I just like the idea that you can see through it. So you have to have that bit ready. And then the idea is that you get your um, stamping polish and you put it onto the um, stamping plate how you normally would. Then you scrape. And once you scrape, you basically get your stamper with the powder and everything on it and then just pick up your um, polish like you normally would, so your stamped image, and then stamp it straight onto your nail. And what this is going to do is it gives like a wet base for the powder to stick to and wherever the, um, the negative space or the bit in between, you just sort of wipe it with the sponge applicator. Just do it gently because, I mean, your polish is probably still drying and it just takes away all the unwanted parts. And then you basically just clear your stamping head on a lint roller like you normally would. So I'm going to list all these um, chameleon powders that I'm using today in this mini down below um, for you. So you know exactly what the numbers are. I'll also list, um, sorry, link the, um, the original um, review video that I did for you. Sorry, I'm having trouble talking today for some reason. I don't know why. But anyway, um, I'll have everything, all the info for you listed down below. If I do miss anything, definitely um, leave me a question down in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to help you with that. I also do have a 10% off discount code for um, Beauty Big Bang, so definitely worth checking them out. Now this method's especially um, great for ladies that don't use um, gel polish at all and um, so you can still get the powder look, you know, you can still use your chameleon powders but just use them with regular polish instead and this way you're actually not wasting too much, you're not having too much clean up to do and you're getting um, a mani that's really pretty, you still get the chameleon um, effect from it too but without the um, having to use gel polishes and things like that. So I think it's really great um, that you can actually use these powders this way as well. So this is the next one going on here. I really do like this colour quite a lot. I'll also link the, I don't know if I already mentioned it before, I'll link the video where I do the reviews for these powders down below too for you. I'm doing the same thing on both hands, so hence the... Um, you can see how messy my other hand is at the moment. I haven't actually cleaned up or anything. I'm just sort of doing both hands at the same time. Then just rubbing away any excess. You can even um, rub all the excess powder off right at the end when you've finished all the nails if you want to. But because I'm just doing this um, as a design for you to see how to do it, I'm just cleaning up as I go along. But you can actually leave it right till the end. And um, that way at least you know that the polish underneath has dried. The um, stamping polish has rather. Yeah, and so you don't make any mistakes by lifting any parts off that you don't want to lift off. Last but not least, the pinky. This polish is beautiful. I really like these. I tried to sort of do purples and pinks and blues and things like that here. Um, yeah, and so sometimes you can actually just lift off any unwanted um, parts off around your um, nails and that just with some tape. Now because I've used powders, chameleon powders, um, I am actually going to go ahead and put a coat of um, a water-based top coat on first before it, before putting on my usual sesh feet. Um, this just sort of protects the powders and um, stops them from getting damaged by the top coat. And here's some macros, so feast your eyes on these ladies, absolutely stunning. Really, really, really like the pinky, I think that's colour number 10 if I'm not mistaken, but just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. You can see the chameleon shift in this um, macro as well. Really beautiful. And I mean, the detailing is just amazing too. I just really like the simplicity of this whole method. It's 
really effective, very easy to do and doesn't take long at all. And you're doing it just on regular polish, so that's definitely got to be a bonus. And here's some macros. So if you have any questions, definitely leave them down in the comment section down below. I love to hear from everybody. Apart from that, make sure you use any discount codes I've got for you down below if you're going to be checking out the products I've used today. And apart from that, thanks for stopping by and I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day. Bye for now.